This is how you ask for a promotion if your 8th District Rep Chris Van Hollen and you are locked in a tight Democratic primary for a rare open U.S. Senate seat. Okay, well, we should stick together here, all right? That's I want to work on Capitol Hill to make policy. You hit the ground in Baltimore and ask for support. I would describe myself as somebody who's progressive and focused on getting results, uh, real action. The 57-year-old's worldview took shape with the very first entry in his bio. Christopher Van Hollen Jr. was born in Karachi, Pakistan. His mother, a State Department specialist, his father in the Foreign Service. So we live many of our early years representing the United States overseas. You know, it does give you the opportunity to grow up with people from all different backgrounds, all different cultures, all different religions. He followed his parents' path to public service, a foreign policy expert on the Hill in the 80s, 12 years in the Maryland legislature, and now in his seventh term in the U.S. House. Along the way, he's fought for gun control, environmental protections, and education. For my earliest days, I've been really focused on education uh, because, you know, the, the promise of opportunity for every kid begins with making sure that they get the very best start in life. And though Van Hollen and his wife raised their three kids in the D.C. suburb of Kensington, Baltimore, he says, has always played a big role in the place he calls home. My father's family is here for generations. Uh, it gives me strong ties uh, to the Baltimore region. There's a Holland Road uh, here in Baltimore. When we came home from overseas, we always had you know, Thanksgiving dinner with the family here in Baltimore. I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. And probably because it's no big surprise, Chris Van Hollen is also a big Orioles fan. The campaign hopes his ties here may make a difference to some primary voters. There are an estimated 600,000 registered Democrats in Baltimore City and Baltimore County.